Hey friends, welcome to the part 26 of this certification content. So if you have not yet subscribed, do so. This is your opportunity to stay tuned to the latest certification content. You can click the join button and or you can click the link in the description, the join link in the description, become a cloud, uh, not a cloud kernel. These contents are not available on cloud kernel. This is a professional certification. You have to become a cloud ninja member. Okay, let us jump into the questions. See, this question is very easy to answer. See, what are you trying to do in this question is you are doing some sort of testing for TCO analysis, total cost of ownership analysis. And now you will give access to each people to store their documents and you want to see how, uh, what would it cost and do we need more hardware. So that is the analysis you are doing. So first thing, boss, listen to me. First thing, this is a temporary activity. This is not a temporary, this is not a permanent activity. This is a temporary activity. Simple. For temporary activity, you should use security token service. The word temporary is the key for STS. Okay. So this is our first answer. Okay. Now, what other keywords we can think of? They are saying that each user, they will give access based on user to the folder in a bucket. That means everybody will not have access. Only few users have, have access. Best practice. Boss, listen to me again, please. Best practice suggest you assign whenever you want to control such kind of thing, you use a role. You don't use individual users. You use roles. So you will need to configure IAM role and not IAM user. Why do we tag resources for organizing your resources? Do we need to organize resources? No. C is wrong. We have to choose three answers. We are left with one more. Federation proxy and identity provider. Why? Because Ocean says you need to set up AD. You need to set up an identity provider. So these three would be our answers. I hope you understood how we attacked this problem statement. We looked, first thing we looked is, this is a temporary in nature work. Second thing we looked is, we want to provide access. It has to be done through roles and not users. And third thing we looked at is, we have to provide identity provider we have to use. Okay, now let us look at this next question. See, in this question, there are certain keywords. They don't want to maintain Active Directory and IAM user accounts both. Okay, second is they are using Identity Center for single sign-on. Third is they want most cost-effective solution. See, if you just quickly scan the option, you see wherever they are using Directory Service, which is a fully managed Microsoft Active Directory service in AWS, you don't need that. You already have Active Directory on premises. So you don't want to put that on cloud also. So any option with AWS directory service is wrong. This one and this one is two are wrong. Now the difference between B and D is here we are telling turn on identity center feature. And here we are saying turn on all features. So we should turn on all features not just identity center see identity center is for single sign on it is not a feature of organization that is why uh, b is wrong because it is not a feature of organization so this would be our final answer because it is enabling the features of organization then ad connector so we are not having two connector two ad instance one in aws and one in on premises so that will be cost effective and then remaining features are intact so remaining lines are good to go see this is the next question here uh, we will go to the problem statement we are trying to upload uh, video files and from australia it is slow they are experiencing problems. 
so in order to improve performance first is you should always make use of transfer acceleration so if because austria is long distance so for faster long distance uploads this has to be used this is our first answer and then we should also try to break the video files okay. so that multi part upload it can go on in parallel this is a good documentation on multi part upload you can pause it read it see replication this replication will always have uh, differences it will not be first replication we are trying to upload so rep replication the upload itself is slow so they are saying that you configure a bucket in each region to receive the uploads so this is like too much of work splitting and putting this every region and latency based routing this is for read solution not for write we have write solution upload is write solution and he says modify the app prefix to files before uploading so this will not solve prefix it is just like subfolders even if you upload to subfolders your speed will not become fast no? you need something else so when you have a car and you are saying that you are going to bombay and then we say that oh you go to pune but that doesn't mean the car will work fast that's why e is wrong so this is our final answer so please hit the subscribe button it will help us grow subscriptions and help you stay tuned to the latest content on certifications you can click the link in the description become a cloud ninja member this is advanced certification so it will not be available for cloud kernel members you have to become a cloud ninja member stay tuned we will post the next couple of videos for cloud ninja members see you in the next part